to another episode of The Wormhole, but a compilation from season one of some of the signature questions that our scholars and guests have answered for us. So where did the idea of The Wormhole come from? Ideas barely occur in isolation, and it so happened that in 2021, I had the opportunity to interview none other than Dame Professor Jocelyn Belvernell on the topic of women and girls in astronomy, and that was through the International Astronomical Union. Why, in your opinion, is gender equality important? It's been shown by management consultants, a firm called McKinsey's, based largely in the USA, but also a bit in Europe, that the most successful groups, be it in business or research, are the most diverse. They're hardest to manage. The easiest group to manage is a group of people just like you, but that turns out to be less successful, less flexible and less robust. So I see it as important that there are more women and girls in astronomy to improve the gender balance. Look at this amazing opportunity we have to connect with scholars and academics all around the world. And so was born the idea of the Wormhole series. And now we've completed nine episodes in season one, and that has taken us all around the world. Here I am located in Trinidad and Tobago, but we were able to have guests from Honduras, several states in, the, in America, as well as in Germany and the United Kingdom. And we still have lots of the world still to explore. I can't wait. So this is a compilation of our signature questions. One of our signature questions is that if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And this is the first part in three. And in the second part, we are going to explore what our scholars and academics have to say about the question, if you could meet with anyone alive or dead, who would it be? And don't forget to tune in for part three, where we will ask them, what is their message to the world? So thank you for supporting us and being part of our journey literally around the world as we talk with some of the best minds. What superpower do you wish that you had? If you could have any superpower that you could wish for, what would it be? If you could have any superpower, what superpower would you like to have? Um, what superpower do you wish you what had? What superpower do you wish you had? What superpower do you wish you had that you don't Telepathy. already have, okay? <laughs> Telepathy. Telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> some may be good, some may be bad, but that's my superpower I wish I had. Would travel back in time just to see what things are like. I'm a big history buff. I think you can't know where you are unless you know how you got there. And so it's really important to me. I would just, I would love to be able to just go and at least watch things happening. So how's that for a superpower? I had a superpower I'd like to be like, uh, uh, Professor X from X-Men, really. I would like to be to get into people's heads and I'd like to be their conscience for that, you know, for, for a microsecond at some pivotal point so that they can stop, think, and decide on the correct course of action. Because I don't care what physical superpower you have, right? If you can get into someone's head and make them do what you think you want them to make them do, and hopefully I'll make them do the correct thing, that could actually revolutionize the world. As a superhero, I would love to fly into space where you don't get disintegrated or be frozen and be able to see those nebulae that I was mentioning about that we only see through a telescope. Uh, and those are spectacular images on that scale. I would love to have a superpower where I could be fly in space and be there and just look at them. I was like, you know, that's all I will do with my superpower. I'll just go and look at different nebulae, star forming regions, planetary nebulae, or maybe galaxies and just hang out. Pretty boring as a superhero power, but I think I would like. <laughs> I'd like to be able to teleport. So, you know, I could be teaching in West Indies, enjoying the beach, 
right after we speak and then still be able to come back and have dinner here wouldn't be awesome like i'd be like a global citizen that's always been uh something that i want to be be able to be doing some work in various parts of the world and what better way to have it if if you can just you know you go like this and voila you're in nepal you're in the philippines you're in guyana you're in <laughs> in trinidad and tobago that would be amazing especially it's winter now you know it would be nice to enjoy some warm weather <laughs> superpower would i wish i would share hmm. i really don't believe in superpowers i guess i would say to be able to calm everyone down also all around us you know people are uh, the, the modern life uh, has bring stress to everyone we are trying to work harder faster uh, live faster i think right. that we need to calm down and take breath and just let life unfold in front of us probably flying <laughs> because I, I love birds and what you probably saw was a picture before already. So I'm fascinated by birds and I, th I think it was just great to be able to fly. So yeah, yeah, I, I think it, it seems uh, uh, that the, there, the, there is a consensus of, of flying is one of the best superpowers ever and followed by perhaps a force in hu and a human force, but it's not for me. I mean, for me, I will say that Im immortality. See, it appears in comics and in fields and and so on. It appears as, as a kind of course. There are many many things to discover in the in the universe for a, just for one lifetime. You know, so I will I will choose that. Boy, uh, there's so much so much um, pain and anger in the world. Sometimes you see it too often. Um, I wish I had, I wish, I wish I could, uh, heal people maybe so that they wouldn't be quite as angry and quite as mean sometimes, you know, it's just, there's life is, life is too short for all that to be happening. I wish I could get rid of it. Thank you for joining me on the first part of three compilation episodes on the signature questions from the series, The Wormhole. Can't wait to see what the scholars and academics have to say about who they would like to meet if they could meet with anyone in the world through time and space. Bye.